Hi, it's Julian Meller, Positive Impact Golf Coach. Today I'm going to give you five top tips to help lower your score. Um, they're very, very easy to do, very simple to apply, and if you do them well, they really are going to help your golf game. Okay, so number one top tip is attitude. Who's ever played golf with people with bad attitude? Generally, they may play a few holes well, but as soon as that negative attitude kicks in, that they're done. Uh, I remember once playing in a county match against uh, a, a young junior and uh, he used to throw his clubs into his bag and as soon as he started to do that I knew that I got him beat. So a good attitude is definitely a must on the golf course. Um, have you ever seen somebody coming up the last who's winning a tournament looking miserable? I don't think I have. So um, pay attention to your attitude. If you're starting to get a bit ruffled calm down and let's uh, let's play golf with a really good attitude it also makes you nice to play with uh, so generally you won't be struggling to go off in a four ball uh, number two um, who's got a bogey hole on their golf course uh, there's one at, here at Arden Cove that, uh, that I really struggle with it's the fifth hole uh, it's not very long but it's quite narrow out of bounds on the left um, what I realised very quickly is I'm not going to play it conventionally. I actually knock an iron off the tee to get it in play, pop it up towards the green and then hopefully make, make my par that way. Uh, so many people play a bogey hole the same way and if you think of what's the definition of insanity, doing the same thing and expecting a different outcome, don't always hit driver on a hole that curses you. Um, choose a different club, play it a different way, maybe play a fairway wood off the tee or a rescue club or an iron, get the first shot in play and take the hole from there. So uh, playing the hole in a different way is definitely something I would be, um, be trying to do. Number three top tip, third top tip, would be avoid tension at all costs. Tension is the number one enemy of the golf swing. I've said it before and I'm going to keep saying it. Avoid tension at all costs. So tension doesn't necessarily just come from the grip. It can go up through the arms, through the shoulders. A lot of tension hides in the jaw. We grip our teeth ready to hit a golf shot. Um, the situation might cause tension to rise. But if you can be aware of tension and avoid it at all costs, I would definitely advise that you do that. Um, number three, t uh, sorry, the number fourth top tip is um, chipping. Now what I've done here on the green, I've got a little circle around the hole of some tees. They're about a club's length from each one. And my top tip is choose three clubs. So I've got uh, I've got a sand wedge here, I've got a seven iron, and I've also got a rescue club. Um, very commonly people have their favourite chipping club, which may be a wedge, it might be a sand wedge, it could be a seven iron. But the idea of this little drill, we've got nine golf balls here and we're going to score to see if we can get any in the circle and which one gives us the most success. So I'm going to play a little sand wedge here first. Okay, it's one in the circle. That's just got in the circle. That one did okay, that one's just fallen in the hole. So there's three out of three with the sand wedge in the circle. Uh, now I've got a seven iron. Let's see what outcome this brings us. Oh, that's just run out the back of the circle. That one's gone in, that'll do. And that one's in the circle, so they're pretty good, good outcomes. And now I've got a little rescue club. Stood nice and tall, just making a little putting stroke. That one's in the circle quite easily. One's in. Oh, it's just about in. So by the looks of that one, the sand wedge gave me the, the best outcome from where I am at the moment. 
do this from various areas around the green, hitting over bunkers, out of bunkers, on the edge of the greens, just in the semi-rough. Try it with three different clubs, see which one gives you the best outcome from different positions. Well worth practicing, and again, this can massively save you golf shots uh, when you're playing. And my final tip, tip number five, practice lag putting. Um, so often people just hit towards the hole, but don't really concentrate on distance. And I love a saying um, that, that's been used on golf, a bad putter is a match for nobody, and a good putter is a match for everybody. Um, number one, most important thing is distance first, line second. So practice distance putting, as in hitting the correct distance. Um, rather than put into a hole, what I like to practice is put into the fringe of the green. Um, so we're not focused on trying to hold the putt, we're really measuring distances. I tend to use three or four balls. Um, I'm just going to go right to the far side of this green. That one's a little bit short. That's almost identical. Let's see if I can get this one a little bit better. So, <laughs> like me, I definitely need a little bit more practice on my leg putting. Um, try these three tips, uh, sorry, these five tips, see how you get on with them. Uh, I'm pretty certain they're going to lower your score. Thanks for watching.